If you've been using just raster layers for all your line art and clip studio paint, and haven't seen the need for vector, here's a video that might convince you otherwise. A little introduction to vector and its uses. Because I sure wish I'd learned about the advantages of vector sooner. First, make sure you're on a vector layer. Now let's look at the figure tools, namely the continuous curve. This is what's going to let you make that nice, smooth line art. It's a great tool, especially if you're a mouse user. I use the spline setting, as that feels the most natural. And this is basically going to work as your brush by letting you tap, hover, tap, or click, hover, click if you're using a mouse. This automatically creates control points in your stroke where you tap, click, which lets you edit it. In Subtool Correct Line, you'll find various options such as Control Point, Delete Point, Pinch, Simplify, and these subtools and the settings in Tool Property will let you edit your vector strokes, moving or shaping, changing the thickness or opacity of specific areas, even changing the whole style of the stroke if you want. For even more tweaking, there's the helpful Operation Tool, something I also wish I learned about sooner which selects and edits a vector stroke more precisely, and also acts as its own transform tool. You can add or subtract to what it selects by going to Tool Property, Selection Mode, and clicking the plus or minus symbols. If you have several strokes you need to select, hold down on the Operation Tool, drag, and include what you want. These control points and functions are the main reason why working in Vector is so handy. It's not only highly editable, it keeps the most quality in the editing. On raster layers, a stroke is just a set stroke. It won't have the control points and their capabilities, so you won't be able to tweak it much, or keep the same quality with resizing and whatnot. But if using these figure tools is all too mechanical for you and you just want to draw, you can just draw. It counts as vector just the same. For line art, I tend to use a combination of hand drawing and the continuous curve, with hand drawn being better for busier strokes and details, and the continuous curve being great for larger rounded shapes. It's just good for saving time and taking out some of the tedium of drawing. Not to mention the hand strain. And drawing in vector also makes those editable control points, but keep in mind that they make a lot more of them which can be hard to work with. You can use the Operation tool to help with this, or the Simplify tool to take out many of these points and simplify the line, at least a little bit. It's best to keep the settings and tool property on the lower side. Higher settings will change the shape more drastically the more you use it. Oh, and also the Vector Eraser is super helpful. And it basically allows you to make more messy line art. If you put it on this setting, it can easily get rid of overlapping strokes. Yeah. Okay, so that's a lot of points for Vector, but what about the drawbacks? Who is it not for? Well, it's likely not going to be very helpful for digital painting, as vectors are incompatible with blending tools. And the Liquify tool, which is a bummer. The Mesh Transformation works though, that acts fairly close. You also technically can't use the Fill Bucket tool or convert brightness to opacity on vector layers, but those have workarounds. Really, the pros of vector far outweigh the cons. In my opinion. Keep in mind, I tend to do very 2D stuff. Drawings and comics. Stuff that involves mostly solid, flat line art and coloring. And raster layers have their use for that too. But learning more about Clip Studio Paint's vector tools, and just learning what it's capable of, has just been a big help to me in the art making process. And if all this sounds complicated and overwhelming, well, yeah, there is a lot. It can take time to just discover all these kinds of tools and settings and possibilities, let alone learn how to make use of them for what you need. But I say better to have too many options than not enough. Uh. Uh. Sorry, paint tool sigh. 
So hey, this is the first tutorial-like thing I've ever made. I tried to make it fairly beginner-friendly, at least in terms of vector, so hopefully it was easy to follow. I plan to make more videos like these, tutorial-like videos, so, uh, yeah. Subscribe if you want. Video over.